Today we're looking at the contents of an epic trade. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. This is a channel about comics, if you weren't sure. So one of the reasons I enjoy uh, comic book YouTube, it's not because like it makes a ton of money or anything like that, because in fact, it's really time consuming and you don't really get a ton out of it unless you're like a huge, huge channel, right? But one of the things that I really enjoy about YouTubing about comics is that you get to meet other people in the comic book community. Suddenly, the comic book community isn't just the five people that show up at your comic shop at the same time every week, but it's like the whole world. And so through this additional hobby, sort of sub hobby of comic book YouTubing, I've gotten to meet some really cool people in the community. And in this instance, um, I've traded some books for some other books. And it's funny because I got to give a huge shout out to my man, Tim. From the K Squad. If you're not in the K Squad, by the way, it is our private comic book community on the internet. We're on Discord and we're on Facebook. Tim is a member of the K Squad on Discord. Um, but it's really it's it's cool. Like just you meet people, you get to like see what they like, and then every now and then your interests may intersect. And that's what happened here. So I've got a trade here, and um I hope Tim's not too mad at me. I decided not to send my portion of the, uh, the trade until this came in because Tim likes to send extras and I would have hated to have sent the one book that I told him I was going to send and then he sent like a bunch of stuff back. So what I've got here is a package from my man Tim and if you're not familiar, Tim is the same guy who helped me complete my hardware collection um, a while back. Tim actually got me a copy of Static or Hardware Issue 50. Uh, he found it at a yard sale or something and was like, yeah. And then he just sent it to me, like out of nowhere. So Tim told me, hey man, like for Christmas, I'm looking for some stuff. I'm trying to find uh, the last 20 or so issues of hardware. And I would love to get a static slab. And I was like, well, you know what? I've got a couple of issues of hardware and I got a static slab. In fact, let me show you what I decided to trade for whatever the contents of this package were. All right, I'm back. So yeah, so when Tim told me like about some of the stuff he's got in his collection, I was like, you know, I got some stuff that are compatible with what you've got. And while I'm talking, the Discord is going off. Let me turn off these sounds. All right. And so I was like, all right, let me propose a trade. I know there's this one book that you have that I really want, and I got some books that you really want. So I will trade you this static season one, issue number one. This is the foil variant by Olivier Coipel. This was a team variant. So your shop had to order, I think, 200 copies of static season one, number one, in order to be eligible to order a copy of this book. Uh, so it's slightly rarer than other static books, or at least from season one. And then here are two other books. So first up is Hardware Issue 31, part of the Long Hot Summer crossover. And then this is Hardware Issue 39, which uh, is a really cool cover featuring a uh, technique. Very dope. Prentice Rollins cover. So I was excited. I was like, all right, I've got these books. A couple of them in this case are duplicates, but you know, this is special to me, but I'd be willing to part for it, part with it for something else. And so Tim was like, all right, cool. I'm going to send you that one book, but I'm probably going to send you some extras too. So I was like, all right, I'm going to wait. I didn't even tell him I was going to wait, but I'm going to wait. And now I can put this stuff in the mail because the gift has arrived. The trade has arrived. So let's see what Tim sent. Because what I can tell you is all that it was supposed to be was one single issue comic book. And, oh, come on, bro. All right, all right. All 
All right, so this first thing says, surprise, Merry Christmas. And this is a copy of Duo, issue number one. Duo, you've probably heard me talk about on my new comic book day pull list videos, um, the what I'm getting series, because I really enjoy uh, Duo, written by Greg Pak with art by Koi Fam. And then, oh, snap. Oh, that's crazy. So this is an issue of hardware number one. This is the collector's issue, but it's signed by Jimmy Palmiotti. And right here it says 4,007 out of 5,000. So is it signed by someone else? Okay, it's just that one signature from what I can tell. But the uh, the numbering is in a different, is in silver, but the signature is in black. So I thought it might have been double signed. All right, and then here's the book that I traded for. Man, this is exciting. So this is static issue number one, and this is the platinum variant. So this is like the rarest copy of static number one that you can get. Um, and it's got this silver foil on the trade dress, but also on the lightning. So this is the collector's cover by Dennis Cowan. As far as condition, I mean, it's fine. I don't, again, I'm like never getting books like graded to resell or anything like that. So I don't care. But I do know this. Whenever I finally meet Dennis Cowan, this is the book that I'm going to bring him to sign. Um, and maybe even remark for me. That's going to be cool. So we got all of that. And this is insane. I'm so glad I waited. Now I get to stuff this box with like other things. But hardware, issue number one. This uh, is the collector's cover by Dennis Cowan as well. In a CGC 9.6, obviously removed from its poly bag. Dog, that's crazy, man. That is crazy. So yeah, uh, Tim, lucky for you. I decided to wait. Not really lucky. I just, I knew something like this might happen. So I decided to wait. So I'm going to send out all this, but you got some surprises coming your way too. Merry Christmas. And that is why being a member of the comic books community online and just in general is so awesome. Like everybody is just so gracious, so cool. And um, you get cool stuff that happens like that. Uh, I couldn't have planned this video any better. Because I had no idea what else was in this box. Um, but now, like I said, my master plan has worked. And now I get to stuff his box with extras. And I'm sure he'll post the results in the K-Squad on Discord. So make sure you use the link in the description down below to join. You'll be a part of a community of people who love comics. And you might I do a deal alert. So when I see a good deal on something out there, I post it in the group and so on. So. That's going to do it for me, man. I hope you guys saw something you liked in this video. By the way, huge shout out to the channel members who make this content possible. Couldn't do it without you. Uh, but until next time, hope you saw something you liked. And um, if not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others. This kindness makes the world go round. Peace.